Hello viewers, my name is Riya Singh and today I am uh, I will give I will like to give you a brief introduction about the global submission of ANDA. So before starting with the slides, I would just like to tell you that what is ANDA. So ANDA is basically an abbreviated new drug application which is being submitted to FDA for the approval of generic drug products. So let us go through the slides. So the table of content includes ANDA, Hatch-Waxman Act. Gender drugs, basic gender drug requirements, necessary requirements of ANDA, guidance documents for ANDA, format and content of ANDA, and lastly the references. So ANDA. So ANDA is basically known as an abbreviated new drug application includes the data which is submitted to FDA for the review and potential approval of the gender drug products. An applicant may manufacture and market the generic drug product once approved to offer a safe, effective, lower co cost alternative to the brand name drug. So these are the some examples which are being approved by ANDA. The very first is Amoxel ND applicant, Dr. Reddy's generic drug, manufactured or window farm, approved on the, uh, November 9, 2005. The second one is Ultraset ND applicant, Jensen Farms, generic drug manufacturer, Mylan Labs, approved uh, in 26 September 2008. So why it is called abbreviated? Because in generic drug products, there is no need of preclinical and clinical data. So that is why ANDA is known as abbreviated new drug application. So here is the definition. The term abbreviated used in the generic drug application because this application does not require the preclinical and data, uh, data, clinical data to the establish the safety and efficacy. Scientific demonstration of bioequivalence is must. So, Hatch Waxman Act. So, viewers, I would like to tell you that Hatch Waxman Act is also known as the Patent Term, Re Patent Term Restoration Act. So, uh, this act is generally approves the general drug product only on the basis of bioequivalence studies. This was established in 1984. So, the drug price competition and the Patent Term Restoration Act 1984, also known as Hatch Waxman Act, established on the basis of approving generic copies of the drug product using bioequivalence. Simultaneously, the branded name uh, companies can submit for up to five additional years longer patent protection for the new medicines. They prepare to make up for the time lost while their products were going through the FDA's approval process. Bioequivalence data, chemistry and microbiology data for plant inspection and drug labeling information are regarded as the main area for focused generic drug application reviewers. So there are some objectives of ANDA. So the very first is safety and effectiveness of the drug in its proposed use. So the second one is to reduce the price of the drug. The third one is the drug proposed labeling is the appropriate manner to reduce the time development, to increase the bioavailability of the drug in comparison to the reference listed drug. So uh, here is the difference between NDA versus ANDA. So in NDA, it is applicable for the new drug. Whereas ANDA is just applicable for the generic drug products. NDA needs to take longer time which is uh, 12 to 15 years whereas ANDA uh, takes less time that is 1 to 2 years. More expenditure of money is required in NDA whereas in ANDA there is uh, comparatively less. Uh, the cost of drugs are more in NDA whereas cost of drugs are less in ANDA. Non-clinical studies and clinical investigations are essential in NDA. Whereas in ANDA, non-clinical studies and clinical investigation are non-essential except bioavailability and bioequivalence. So, generic drugs. So, generic drugs uh, is a product that is comparable to a brand reference listed drug product in the dosage form strength, route of administration, quality, performance and corrected for the intended use. So these are the some basic general drug requirements. The very first is same active ingredients. The second one is same route of administration. The third one is same dosage form. The fourth one is same strength. 
the fifth one is same conditions of use and the last one is inactive ingredients already approved in a similar nda so necessary requirements of a nda so uh, uh, let us talk what are the necessary requirements needed for a nda so the very first is the composition of the drug stating the name and the amount of each uh, active each ingredients whether active or not contained in a stated quantity of a drug the second one is identify the place where the drug is being manufactured packaged label and the name of the supplier of the active ingredients the last one is identify the person any person other than the applicant who performs the part of those operations so the guidance uh, document for ANDA. So guidance document is helps to prepare the ANDA are listed together in the following categories. So the very first is biopharmaceutics, and the second one is drug master file. So in biopharmaceutics, bioavailability and bioequivalent studies for only administered drug product general consideration, the guidance uh, should be useful for the applicants planning to conduct BA bioavailability and bioequivalence BE studies intended for the submission in an ANDA whereas in drug master file the drug master file is a submission to the FDA that may be used to provide confidential detailed information about facilities processes or articles used in the manufacturing processing packaging and storing of one or more human drugs the format and content of ANDA so let us see that what is the format and content of ANDA Three copies of the abbreviated applications are required to be submitted an archival copy, an archival copy, a review copy, and a file copy. An archival shall contain the following. The very first is application form. The second one is table of contents. The third one is basic uh, basis of uh, for ANDA submission. The fourth one is conditions of use. The fifth one is active ingredients. And lastly, the route of administration. Dosage form and strength. Bioequivalence and bioavailability. Labeling. Chemistry manufacturing and controls. Samples. Patent certifications. Financial certification or disclosure statement. And other information. So, patent certification. So, the generic manufacturer is required to file one or four listed possible certifications on the subject of reference brand name patent listed in the orange book while filing ANDA. Under section 314.94A, 12, the patent certification includes the following. The paragraph 1 certification. The paragraph 2 certification. The paragraph 3 certification and lastly the paragraph 4 certification. So these are the references which I have been followed uh, for the for giving an introduction about the global submission of ANTA. So thank you.